Okay, so the ferment's really starting to kick now. You can see that it's it's the cap's really rising up. When I plunge this, you'll see a lot more activity in a second. But uh, one of the things that we need to do is uh, with this fruit is add a little bit of acid because it's uh, it's a bit short on. Um, it's not too bad, uh, but we're just going to add a tiny little bit. So the acid we're adding is uh, tartaric acid. Comes in a white crystalline powder. Looks like sugar. Um, and we just mix it with a tiny little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pour that in around the top and then start just plunging it in. Um, I try and just mix it evenly through. And what it'll do, I've still got a bit left in there. I'll get some wine in there and a tick to, to uh, mix that around a bit. And uh, whoa, it's getting out of the plunge now. Ferment's really starting to kick. Um, this is only a baby. Uh, lots of good colour there. So the acid affects the the pH. It uh, it lowers it, and uh, uh, it also affects the flavours, the, the freshness of the fruit, and the colour of the wine. The more acid, the lower the pH, the redder the wine will be, and. Uh, as opposed to sort of purpley and blue, it'll have a more red colour. Um, it also affects things like microbial stability and the amount of, uh, or the impact, the effect of uh, sulphur on the on the uh, on the wine. Uh, so you need less sulphur at lower pHs to protect the wine from uh, any spoilage by other bugs and oxidation and things like that. So, yeah, so you can really see the difference now. This ferment's really starting to crank. We'll give it a good mix because we've thrown so much uh, some acid in there to make sure that goes through. And uh, take the temperature again, see where it's at. Now, uh, in the next day or two, we're really going to have to start considering cooling it so it doesn't get too hot. Uh, probably don't want it to go above, you know, around about 28 degrees. Um, Above that, we start to get lots of different stresses coming through with the uh, uh, with the yeast, and they might not finish the ferment. So one of the things we really want them to do is chew up all the sugar in there, and make sure there's nothing that any other bugs could eat later. Um, so yeah, so it's looking good. I think we are we're going to have some fun with this baby. Get that last bit of acid that's in here, just mix it in with a, a bit of juice. And, uh, a little bit more of a go. Perfect. And we'll do the same to our other vat. So we're off and away. Looking good, smelling great, just delicious. Very happy with the way this is coming up. Beauty. Let's see. Just feels so good. It definitely feels a bit warmer. Chuck a thermometer in it and see where it's at. Huh? Beautiful. Yeah, she's picking up temperature. Now we're at about uh, 21 now. 